Now, we are going to use Apex to work with our Salesforce data when we're building our LWC component. So first off, I'm going to go through this deploy a lightning web component that list records table. Then after we deploy this, uh, we can take a look how it works. Then we can go up, go back and try this out calling Apex method from LWC. First, doing it with an add wire decoration, and then we can call the Apex imperatively as well. So let's go and open our or your Visual Force um, Code Studio. I'm gonna create a new Apex class and call that account controller, like that. So back to my project. So instead of the LWC uh, pane here, I'm going to go to my classes and right click and create Apex class and paste that name default. And there we have it. Now flip back. I'm going to copy my code over here and flip back again and paste and save. So um for an apex uh class and method this needs to be done it has to be public and the method is also public and it can also be global it has to be static and it has to have the add aura enabled annotation cacheable has to be has to be true if we want to access this through add wire decoration. If we don't, we can take this out and we can use um, and access this method and class imperatively from the LWC JavaScript. Uh, we'll talk about that more on the next videos. On this, we're just gonna try this sample, how this works, okay? So basically, it's just going to do a circle um, select name, annual revenue industry from the account uh, with security and force order by name. So we're just going to get account list here. Pretty simple. So flip back. Next, we are going to create our LWC component. Same thing, account list. I'm going to flip back here. We can close the tab there and on LWC, right click new LWC component over here and paste the name account list default. Bam, we have our uh, HTML, JS, and XML file. So let's flip back to our trailhead. First, I want to copy the JS file here. Flip back, go to my JS and just paste the whole thing. I'm going to save that. So let's go through line by line. Uh, this is standard. We want to import lightning element and wire from the LWC library. And then we can import the fields, the fields uh, from the schema, account name, annual revenue, account industry. These three fields we are going to play with for this particular component and then import get accounts. This is our controller here from here. Okay. Salesforce at Salesforce Apex account controller class get accounts method. This is the get accounts method there. So we want to access that. Okay. And then we define the constant, the columns, the label for this is account name. And then the field is um, type text is a name field. This one account name, annual revenue is the revenue field, industry is the industry field, and then the type is text, the type is currency, the type is text. Okay, so just follow along for this example. And then we do the regular export default class account list, extends lightning element. The columns for the data table where we are going to uh, populate our data are the const columns from here, which is picking up from there, right? And then add wire, get accounts, 
okay at wire get accounts which will actually um, execute this method and return this list on back onto our accounts um, property there all right uh, that's that let's go back and grab our HTML copy that flip back go to our HTML file here and paste everything and save so it's a lightning card um, if accounts dot data exists or has any data do a lightning data table okay so key field is the ID where is the data coming from account dot data accounts dot data which will be coming from here <coughs> the data from the accounts which is connecting to the get accounts method and returning it here right so that's the data the columns to display we define it as constant here and we say the columns are columns okay so you can have what if you know if you want to know more about a particular property there right and explains what it is okay um, now let's move on the XML file where we can define how this component is exposed to and what um, page uh, the target is in a record page or an app page so on this particular one is an app page we can deploy this component on an app page okay so I'm gonna paste this and save so if save all three we have a bit of a warning there never mind lightning data table is known to have issues on mobile devices consider these options okay so for this particular um, trail we're just following the example so let's just deploy this component now so i'm just going to right click here and then i'm going to say deploy source to org i'm already authorized to my trailhead playground so i'm going to deploy that once it's deployed uh oop, let's see what's going on there oh whoopsie we haven't deployed the class yet so let's deploy this guy here okay i'm gonna right click <laughs> um deploy source to org first so don't forget to deploy the apex class first right so we have deployed the apex class now we can actually deploy the component because we are referencing to that class it doesn't see it yet now it does so we have no errors flip back to our playground so go to your trailhead playground so i'm gonna go to work with data app here oh um, not no let's go to the app builder first i'm gonna go to my app builder and edit that app builder and I want to edit that work with data app working with data I'm going to edit this guy and let's drag that new component we just make account list let's drag it on the right side there boom save and go back here and try it out working with data and there we have it Ooh, pretty nice right so we have the three columns we define on the lightning web component and it's pulling its data and it's doing that pretty nice so that's the first step i want to show you if i go back to my trailhead here next up um, i don't want to do the challenge first i want to compare for you the difference between calling apex imperatively and calling apex using at wire method for the lwc so let's separate that in the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds 
and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.